Hello everybody. I, Rahul Singla, in this session will be taking you through the philosophy optional. The essence of philosophy as a subject when we have to prepare for the UPSC. Plus, we would be decoding the syllabus of philosophy optional. And along with it, we will try to see the common trends that we have in previous year question papers. Plus, the most important thing, what is the approach or what is the guru mantra that we need to have in order to crack the UPSC through philosophy optional and along with it, first and the foremost thing that why we shall choose philosophy optional. So, going into the video, first of all, let us try to decode the syllabus of philosophy optional, right? Okay. Now, I think we can or we could say the paper is divided into two parts, paper 1 and paper 2. So, if I look into paper 1, there we have two sections. One is related to Western philosophy and second one is related to Indian philosophy. Now, when we talk about philosophy as a subject, it is basically questioning our existence, questioning about the existence of God and what shall be our ethics in our day-to-day -day life. So, these are the aspects on which different philosophies are based. I think you can see behind me that there are Western philosophers whose contribution that we have to see in the field of philosophy when we have to prepare for UPSC. We have the Plato and Aristotle, then we have the theories of rationalism, we have the theories of empiricism, then we have the most important theory in the field of philosophy given by Kant, right? And then we have Hegel, Moore, Russell and early Wittgenstein, right? So, these are various aspects of philosophy optionals or philosophies that we have from the Western philosopher's point of view. Building upon this, we have logical positivism, later Wittgenstein, phenomenology, existentialism, Queen and Strawson. So, these are the, we can say broadly 10 philosophies that we have to study and we have to make sure that when we talk about UPSC, all these aspects are very, very important. Now, this was all about the Western philosophy in the paper 1. Now, coming to the part of Indian philosophers. Now, there is a philosophy of Charvaks, Jainism, schools of Buddhism, then we have Nayavisaka, Yoga, Mimasa, schools of Vedanta and finally, we have Aurobindo. I think you could see over here, there is quite an overlapping, if I can say, of various GS paper subjects through the philosophy optional. It could help you in the topics like AMC, as you can see over here, there are a lot of things that have been given over here in the case of Jainism and Buddhism. And this year in UPSC 2023 prelims, there was a specific question on the philosophy of Jainism as well, right? So, there was a one question as well. So, through this particular aspects, I want to convey that these aspects are very simple. You just need to have a balanced approach if you have to crack the philosophy optional and score good marks, right? So, this was paper one, which it consists of Western philosophers as well as Indian philosophers. Now, Moving on to the next part, what is paper 2? Now, paper 2, if I talk about, talks about the practical applications, right? Philosophy to ek cheez hai jo existence ke upar, koi bhi cheez hai uske upar question puchhegi, right? So, we have various, let's say, socio-political theories, like we have the ideas of equality, justice, liberty, we have the idea of sovereignty, we have the idea of individual and state, forms of government, political ideologies, humanism, crime and punishment, development and social progress, gender discrimination and caste discrimination. I think you can make out an idea that these are the topics that would help you in GS paper 2, in the prelims, in GS paper 1 if you have to attempt from society point of view and along with it, it would help you in the GS paper 4 as well, that is the ethics paper and moreover, it is going to make a huge impact when you write an essay because we have seen a lot of questions that come in the exam come from the philosophy part that is I am talking about the essay part. So, this is the first paper 2 or we could have the section that we have that is the social political philosophy and the next and the last part of the syllabus is philosophy of religion. I think you could see over here. So, here basically they are talking about agar God hai to kyun hai? Agar God nahi hai to God kyun nahi hai? So, they are not talking about religion, but they are asking about the philosophy of the religion. And I am telling you guys, it is going to help you a lot and it has a lot of overlapping with most of your GS subjects, right? 
So these were the, if I can say, summarize it up, it was the syllabus of philosophy optional. And you can see it from here, the optional syllabus is much less as compared to other subjects. Zada bada nahi hai. Agar hum isko tarike se pade, then it could be, let's say, completed within 2 to 2.5 months. Maximum, it could be stressed up to the mark of 3 months. But if I talk about above all the optionals that we have, among all the optionals, philosophy optional is the shortest optional because one of the shortest optional because we can cover it up in a very lesser time frame, right? And it would help you in, let's say, concentrating on other GS subjects as well. Now, Let's try to see what are the previous year questions that we have so that I want to specifically talk about ki kaise paper make up questions repeat hote hain ek common topic ke upar aur syllabus ke puchne pe hi aur agar hum keh sakte hain syllabus ke accordingly hi questions puche jate hain let's have a look now this is the uh, part first of our western philosophy that is plato and aristotle idea, substance, form and matter, causation, actuality and potentiality. Now see the previous year questions. Let's see. There is a red chair. How would Plato explain his statement with the use of his theory of forms? Potentiality is indefinable according to Aristotle. Explain the relationship between potentiality and actuality with reference to the above philosophical position by taking the example of wooden table. In what sense can ideas be both imminent and transcendent? Discuss in this context Plato's theory of universal and particulars. Explain Aristotle's theory of form and matter. How does it help him resolve the problem of change and permanence? If you study in detail the topics of this philosophy, these questions are no different. They actually have the same idea. Aristotle is talking about form and matter. Aristotle is talking about potentiality and actuality. He is basically criticizing the. अगर हम बात करें प्लेटो की थ्योरी को, वो प्लेटो की थ्योरी को क्रिटिसाइज कर रहे हैं क्योंकि प्लेटो की थ्योरी में सब स्टैटिक है और अरिस्टोटल की थ्योरी स्टैटिक नहीं है, वो डायनामिक है. As you can see, discussed or does Plato's theory of form again? It is repeated from the first question. You can see asked in 2021. Does Aristotle treat matter as a substance? Aristotle's distinction between actuality and potentiality. You can see direct questions come in the exam. It just you need to have, if I could say, a proper understanding of the topic. Plus, if you are able to have a critical insight into the previous year question papers, then this optional becomes very, very easy. Right? Okay. Now, similarly, I have tried to give a more Another example of social and political philosophy, how the questions are being asked directly from the syllabus that is related to equality, justice and liberty. As you can see, discuss the different aspects of fundamental distinction between democratic equality and Marxian notion of equality. How far do, do Marx, Gandhi and Amartya Sen agree and disagree on the concept of justice? Similar, right? So, what we philosophers are doing, ideas ko hi kya kiya ja raha hai, discuss kiya ja raha hai, and questions are getting repeated again and again. So, it is not like कि आपको बहुत ज़्यादा dynamism मिलेगा इस paper में, but yes, if you are able to understand the conceptual part, right, then you would be able to apply the practical part in the paper 2 of the philosophy. And I can say, and I can say, this optional is one of the scoring options, right? Optional सभी scoring होते हैं, right? सभी में score किया जा सकता है, but it is up to an individual how he is able to basically make sure that he gives his 110% in order to get good marks from this optional, right? So this was one of the things that I wanted to tell you that how questions are being asked from the philosophy optional. Now, these is the very important approach that you need when you have to crack any optional, right? Let's talk about philosophy optional. You need to first of all understand and learn the entire syllabus. You have to have critical insight into previous year question papers. Jab tak pata nahi hoga, pehle question kaise pooche gaya, aap attempt kaise karoge? To aapke dekha hai, questions repeat ho rahe hai. So you need to have a critical insight into the PYQs. Then you need to read the class notes that you will be doing in the class. Then you have to read relevant portions from certain standard textbooks of philosophy. Sari books padne ki zururat nahi hai, sirf utna hi padna hai, jitna exam point of view se important hai, right? This thing is very important. And at the end, you need to do the revision through the test. Aapne koi cheez pad li hai, aapne kitne achche se padi hai, aapko kaise pata? So you need to give test and you need to revise. That is the guru mantra if you have to go through the philosophy optional. Right guys? Okay. Now, at the end, 
लास्ट थिंग वाई वी नीड टू चूज द फिलोसफी ऑप्शनल एज यू कैन सी ओवर हेयर अमंग द फोर्टी एट ऑप्शनल इट हैज द शॉर्टेस्ट सिलेबस इट्स कवरेज कुड बी डन इन टू पॉइंट फाइव टू थ्री मंथस प्लस इट हैज अ ओवरलैपिंग विद अदर सब्जेक्ट लाइक एथिक्स एस ए पेपर एज इट विल बी कवरिंग ह्यूमैनिज्म डेमोक्रेसी सेक्युलरिज्म रिलीजन मोरलिटी वुमेन इंपारमेंट एंड कैंडिडेट चूजिंग दिस सब्जेक्ट डू नॉट रिक्वायर प्रायर नॉलेज अबाउट इट जरूरी नहीं है कि अगर आपको इसकी नॉलेज है तभी आप कर सकते हो इवन इफ यू आर ले मैन एंड हैव अ लिटल बिट ऑफ आइडियाज ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी सोशलिज्म सेक्युलरिज्म यू नो अबाउट सर्टेन थिंग्स यू रीड न्यूज पेपर देन दिस ऑप्शनल वुड बी अ केक वॉक फॉर यू गाइस राइट नाउ हम यहां पे ये डिस्कस नहीं करेंगे कि क्या सक्सेस रेट है क्या कितने बच्चे इसमें ऑप्शनल्स में लेते हैं राइट आई कैन टेल यू दैट अराउंड 500 टू 600 स्टूडेंट्स अपीयर फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर ऑप्शनल राइट नाउ इफ आई टॉक अबाउट यूपीएससी एग्जाम्स एंड सक्सेस रेट इज अराउंड 9 परसेंट बट इट इज अपू एन इंडिविजुअल अगर कोई बच्चा किसी ऑप्शनल में ज्यादा मार्क्स ले रहा है तो कोई बच्चे ऐसे भी होंगे जो बहुत कम मार्क्स ले रहे हैं so we do not have to go into that particular thing but the thing that we have to go into it if we are looking for the philosophy optional that this is the syllabus this is how previous year questions are asked that is the approach we need to have and why we need to choose this particular subject right i hope this was enough for you guys to have a look and insight into the philosophy optional so thank you so much guys take care bye bye